Yesterday was a bit of a turning point for me in terms of my optimism about this entire experience. I couldn't be more thankful to have spent that day with Vanessa. I woke up today with a lot of energy and a lot of excitement and just really hope that it carries over into today. I'm super excited to see Nick. It's been so long. I got the first impression rose, but I don't know how long that first impression is going to last. Like, I want him to notice me like he did the first night. How are y'all doing? <laughs> how are you? There are seven girls on this group day today. There's only one rose, and I really, really want it. Me and Rachel are the only girls who have not had a date. And I'm excited to just kind of like, feel like I'm not behind anymore. So as you can see, we're here at a track. Um, track is something I've done my whole life. I competed in high school and college. And so to help us and to make sure we don't screw up, I brought a few of my friends um, to get us going. So. Oh my god, oh my god. We see two women, we see a man. I'm telling you, from a distance, I was like, that is Allison Felix, that's Carl Lewis, that's Michelle Carter. Michelle! Michelle! We have some amazing Olympic athletes with us today. Uh, Carl Lewis is literally an Olympic hero, uh, nine-time gold medalist, and someone that I watched all throughout my childhood. <laughs> and today's gonna be a, a really exciting day. We're gonna do something today that's gonna be a lot of fun. It's called a Nick Athlon. <laughs> and we're gonna see if you guys have what it takes to get it done. So you're gonna do the high jump, the long jump, the shot put, the javelin, yep. and my favorite, the 100-meter dash. But ladies, in track and field, there is only one winner. So you guys, make sure you put your best foot forward. Let's see who's going for the gold today. The gold is Nick's heart. <gasps> oh. No pressure. Okay. All right, we're gonna do a short warm up and we're ready to go. One, two, back to out. There you go. Nice. I'm hoping that my physical abilities do not let me down. And when so you kick, you should be getting... I want that shot at left. And I'm gonna go the long distance. What? Kick? <laughs> that was good. Cool. Really? Astrid definitely should have wore three sports bras to hold that all in. I would have known I was gonna actually be doing this much physical activity. I think I would have worn a little bit more support. But maybe it'll help me get the rose. <laughs> you never know. It is time to start our Nick Athlon. We're gonna start with the long jump. What is that? This is a limo long jump. We wanna see if you can jump into the limo with Mr. Nick. Oh. <laughs> Track and field is a very unforgiving sport, and so uh, I just want to see the women embrace the day and, um, you know, hopefully just have some fun. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Nice. Good job. Oh, yeah. It is extremely important to do well because the gold medal today is alone time with Nick. Wow. Let me tell you, I would love to track and field Nick all day. Who is ready to jump into Nick's arms? I like all the girls and all, but I'd rather hang out with Nick. <laughs> oh! Almost. If you look at Nick's previous history on The Bachelor, he's only used to getting silver medals, so hopefully this time around he gets a gold medal. And that's me. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Alexis, who knew that little booger was so athletic? Next up, the javelin throw. I don't think anyone should feel safe with me holding this. Ooh. OK. Oh, that's a good job. Ooh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. <laughs> I think Cupid was definitely on my side today. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, no. Oh. I hit myself. Yeah, I'm, I'm OK. Coming into today, I was very excited. I was excited to get out of the house. I was excited to see him, because I've had so little time in comparison to everybody else. Oh, yeah. wow. I didn't think this was going to be easy, and I'm really, really, really trying. But I'm getting overshadowed by much bigger personalities. I'm not like the loudest one in the room. That's just not, it's just not me. We finally tallied up our results. Not only did we test you guys on your distance and forms and your sportsmanship, we also watched out for your chemistry with Nick. Oh! Yeah. So. <laughs> well, we can only take three to the next round. So our first one is Rachel. Woo! Rachel, stand out. <laughs> and who is going to be with Rachel is Alexis. Third one is 
Astrid. <laughs> Astrid's number three. Uh, we're going to the next event, and the winner of that event, you're gonna have a little extra time with Nick, and we can look down here. The winner, you'll have a special time with Nick in the hot tub. No. <laughs> All right, ladies, you're gonna be doing my specialty, the dash. When you've completed the dash, um, whoever is first, you wanna run over there, get that ring, and run straight to the hot tub with Nick. I want the ring, I want Nick, I want the jacuzzi, so move, bitches. I'm coming through. My eyes on the prize. I'm like running straight to the hot tub, no joke. Rachel crosses the finish line, but when she goes for the ring, the whole thing falls over, it smashes, Astrid grabs it, and Astrid gets the time. Girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. I would've yeah, done she that. Back. You kind of winning and doing whatever it takes. <laughs> I did not expect my first date to go like this whatsoever. It, it just sucks to watch all day long how effortlessly he gravitates towards pretty much everybody but me. It's frustrating. I feel like he doesn't even want me around at all. I don't want to waste my time. It's just frustrating to me because it's like, I'm always like overlooked. Always, always overlooked. I don't know how I'm gonna do this cocktail party, honestly, I really don't know. I'm just falling behind. It's like the worst case scenario.